This week on Report on Conditions, we'll cover structure fires in Harupa Valley and Reno Valley, and animal rescue in San Jacinto. Join one of our fire safety specialists in Palm Desert and recognize two forestry fire pilots that recently retired. Hi, and thanks again for joining us for this week's episode of CAL FIRE, Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. I'm April Newman. Last week, from March 7th through March 13th, our firefighters responded to 3,467 calls for service, including 2,934 medical emergencies and 380 fire-related calls. Of the fire calls, 17 were vegetation fires and 11 were structure fires. Let's take a look at a few highlighted incidents from the past week. On Thursday, March 10th, Cal Fire, Riverside County Fire Department received multiple calls of a house on fire at the 5,000 block of Ridgeview Avenue in Harupa Valley. The first arriving battalion chief reported a large debris pile and multiple appliances on fire, threatening homes on both sides of the fire. Firefighters were successful in containing the fire to the debris pile, appliances, and approximately 100 feet of vinyl fence. No homes were damaged from the fire, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries and was treated at a local hospital. Next, we'll head to San Jacinto, where again on March 10th, just after 1 p.m., firefighters from Station 25 in San Jacinto responded to a report of a dog who got their head stuck inside a tire rim. Through coordinated efforts from resources within Battalion 5, along with the local animal hospital, crews were able to free the dog's head from the tire rim. She is expected to make a full recovery. Our last highlighted incident of the week occurred just after 1.30 a.m. on Thursday, March 11th. Firefighters responded to a reported outside fire in the area of Paris Boulevard and Alessandro Boulevard in Reno Valley. The first chief officer at scene reported one commercial building heavily involved with fire through the roof and requested a first alarm. Due to the structural integrity, crews went into defensive mode and were able to contain the fire to the building of origin. Firefighters remained on scene for several hours for salvage and overhaul operations. No injuries were reported. With the recent change in daylight savings, now is the perfect time to check your smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. This week's strong work goes out to forestry fire pilots, George Karcher and Cliff Walters for their retirement. Hello. I am Josh Bischoff, Battalion Chief here at the Hammett Ryan Air Attack Base. CAL FIRE operates the largest aerial firefighting fleet in the world. Hammett Ryan Air Attack Base, located here in the Riverside Unit, is one of 10 Hell Attack bases throughout the state of California. We've had the privilege of having George Karcher and Cliff Walters as a fire pilots here at Hammett Ryan Air Attack Base. George has been here for almost 13 years and Cliff has been here for 10 years. Through the time they worked on the Huey UH-1H, as well as transitioned this past year into the Cal Firehawk S70I. Uh, they've been instrumental in the program that's been ongoing here at Hemet Ryan for over the past decade. Both George Karcher and Cliff Walters started their flying careers in the military. Cliff uh, was an Army pilot, then after he left the Army, 
He flew for San Bernardino County Sheriff prior to coming here to Cal Fire. George Karcher was also an Army pilot, flew for the Coast Guard, and then also flew for San Bernardino County Sheriff prior to getting hired with Cal Fire 13 years ago. George Karcher was a second generation pilot. His father, also a pilot, flew Hueys in the Army. The water salute is a cheerful airport tradition that originated in the military to honor pilots on his or her last flight before retiring. On such occasions, firefighting rigs expel plumes of water over the runway to recognize that pilot on their final flight. Over the past 10 plus years, George Karcher and Cliff Walters have an in, been an instrumental part of the team here at Hammett Ryan Air Attack Base. Their service not only to the firefighters, engineers, captains, and chiefs that have worked here at the base, they've also been dedicated to serving the residents of Riverside County, both in air rescue and fighting some of the largest fires this county has seen. I've had the honor of flying with both of these pilots, George Karcher and Cliff Walters, on numerous missions over the years, and their skills and dedication to this profession, to CAL FIRE, and to the Riverside unit is greatly appreciated. Both of these pilots' skill and professionalism will be missed. This week's shout out goes to 12-year-old Jordan Ramirez. On Saturday, March 12th, Jordan participated in a thank you for your service walk. He started his journey at the Palm Desert Sheriff Station and ended it at the Palm Springs Police Station. Along the way, Jordan stopped at multiple police and fire stations, one of which was our very own Rancho Mirage Fire Station 69, where he delivered a plaque to our firefighters to show his appreciation. Thank you, Jordan. Fire Safety Specialist Brittany Ferguson, and this is Did You Know? So not only are we here on the site inspecting the, the underground that would pertain to the water supply for fire suppression, um, but we're also going to be checking fire sprinklers and fire alarms. Dependent on the type of inspection we're there for that day, we're also looking around for life safety issues. So we're checking to make sure they have the appropriate extinguishers on site, uh, make sure everyone has their hard helmets, following uh, basic safety rules. They do have their own on-site safety managers, but we're just there to kind of enforce all of that as as well as the actual inspections were assigned to that day. Initially, we meet up with the contractor, general contractor, superintendent on a site so that we can be kind of guided through. Uh, we have an idea already of that day's inspection, whether we're looking underground or at the building itself. We want to make sure that they have the approved set of plans or blueprints, if you will, so that we know that what is being built and what they submitted is matching. We're checking to make sure that they have the appropriate state licensing that the state fire marshal requires. As far as the card itself, making sure it's valid and up to date, it does expire every year. So we want to make sure that they are holding a current card. That's going to do it for this week's report on conditions. To stay up to date on current incidents as they happen in Riverside County, be sure to follow at Cal Fire RRU on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and keep sending us your photos and video clips of incidents and events you captured. From your CAL FIRE, Riverside County Fire Department Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau team, thanks for watching.